Hey guys, it's Brennan the Paleo Dude, and I'm back at Walmart. I hit my local one, and they've got plenty of Scorpius Rex um, figures with the Gyrosphere and Kenji. They also have the Slash in Battle version as well. Um, they've got one Indominus Rex left over from the last time I was here. It is the 2000 and 2020, early 2020 version uh, from the Primal Attack lineup. And they've got plenty of, and I mean plenty, like holy cow, plenty of these um, uh, wild pack figures. So I'm probably gonna pick a few up. They're only $13, Toys R Us has them for 15. Um, so I did not get them there. But uh, this color is one of my favorite when it comes to the Raptor mold. Um, so that's great. And I'm um, probably gonna get one or two because they're great for pack building due to just like the fantastic work and color that they have. And the style is pretty cool. I'm probably also gonna pick up one of uh, these guys, the Sharingasaurus, because it's such a unique figure. And again, they're a lot cheaper here. They also have the Ramparinkus and the Mononychus. Um, I might pass on getting another Mononychus. It is a unique mold featured in the uh, uh, what is it? Prim not Primal Attack. I think it was the Dino Rivals um, repaint that they had going on. But it was never uh, featured again in the toy line until now. But I'm not really digging the paint job just because it lacks the original yellow on the feet. Though I do like the quail-like patterning on the tail and the head. Um, usually when looking for doubles with such a great stock, I have to be picky about the paint. You can see there's a little bit of bleeding going on in the teeth, and that is uh, not really a favorable thing for photography. I mean, it's easy to touch up if you scrape it off with like a nail or something, um, but when it comes down to having a large selection like this, I tend to like to get as perfect as I can. Um, the printing on the teeth is a little off on this one. Do I do like the horns? I might go with it because the eyes are good too. And yeah, you can see Mattel's quality is slightly dropping with the high amounts of paint errors. You can see uh, the orange around the eye has been splattered onto the head. And you can see there's a little bit of a spray on the teeth leaking off onto the face on this guy. Um, <laughs> but regardless, holy cow, this is probably one of their best repaint lines. Um, especially like quality of the, uh, the amount of colors used. It's not just two colors like the original uh, Ramp Rinkus. They have a nice diverse amount of uh, orange, white, gray, black. And it looks kind of like a, uh, a seagull or a puffin. You can see with the color on the snout there, it gives it a more uh, realistic vibe to it, which I enjoy in these figures. Um, so uh, one of my smaller pet peeves when it comes to the Sharingasaurus is the body being a different color as the rest of it. They could have slightly fixed that with a similar plastic build, but I know they usually go with more of the uh, rubbery plastic for the limbs and then a harder plastic for the body, and that is prone to sun fading, which uh, I guess these figures just come pre-built with that. So yeah, no. And they've also got the captive's eggs. Um, next paycheck I get, I might just cave and buy a case um, just to complete the line because as we all know the last opening was a nightmare with uh, 200 eggs that was like too much money too much money but uh, with trading now I feel a little bit better uh, plus they're just recycling the old exclusives so I don't really need to go fishing for those guys for too long and uh, again I can just trade the rest so yeah um, hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, leave a comment if uh, your Walmarts have restocked yet down in the States or wherever you guys are at. And uh, yeah, ciao for now.